Hello everyone, uh, this is my uh, presentation on natural selection in action by me. Hey, my name is Hector and this is my project of natural selection in action. Uh, in this presentation, I will discuss the natural selection of the animal, the rock pocket mouse. The animal. Yeah, this is the animal that I have chosen, the rock pocket mouse. It looks very cute. Common name, the rock pocket mouse. The scientific name, Chatodipus intermedius. And since that name is long, my name that I personally gave him is called the Scrunkly. I will not get into why I called him the Scrunkly. It's just going to be that. Uh, it has a lifespan of three years. Um, the family is hetero mid mid um kingdom is the animalia uh it lives in rocky ledges with steep and rocky ravines inside boulders or in gravelly slopes its environment is sparse with shrubby vegetation it, it avoids areas of extensive sand or silt it lives in states like arizona and new mexico i didn't include this but also lives in texas but it's more in the west region does now does this animal support the theory of natural selection this mouse does indeed support the theory of natural selection you see the color of the mice say it all uh the most common color of the mice are reddish brown and uh black this helps them blend into the environment a lot better to help camouflage themselves against predators now what adaptation did the population present population had to adapt to its environment in some way especially because the mice live in dark areas in rocks in the desert. The color of these deserts the mice live in are normally tan and reddish brown, so the population had to adapt to their environment. But how? By changing the color of their fur over time to reddish brown fur to camouflage in the desert and black to hide in dark areas, like places like under rocks and stuff. How did this trait promote fitness? The trait of having reddish brown and dark colored fur camouflages the mice to make them less visible to, pre to predators, whether it, be, whether it be day or night. This trait promotes the fitness for the mice. Any environmental factors that could have caused uh, selective pressures? Uh, the rock pocket mouse mainly doesn't have any environmental factors with the exception of one thing. Uh, the lava falls in, in Arizona. The lava caused the change in the mouse population because the light-colored mice could not camouflage and therefore not survive or reproduce. More pictures of the scrunkly. I like it. These, these were the sites I uh, used for the information. In conclusion, the mice is cute and I would like to hold one. The end. Okay, bye.